Family was formed in our mother's womb. Family were formed in our mother's womb. Thank you. Um, sister, Brother Hines, can you tell us some when God loved us? Wow. Brother Hines is running us on the Facebook page. Oh my God. Thank you, sir. I realize you can't speak. That's perfect. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Thank you, Jesus. A silent prayer. A silent prayer. To God be the glory. Welcome those who are on Facebook. And I know this will be on YouTube. Bless you. Thank you for joining the Old Harbor Evangelistic Center Facebook page. Bible study tonight on the topic. Growing in grace and in the knowledge of God. When it comes down to a family, community, workplace, church. What a blessing it is. What a blessing. Thank you so much. Brother Ayn, so that I want to say to us tonight, anybody else want to try, Sister Georgia, when is it or when was it that Christ loved us? Um, I, I think it was before we were formed in our mother's womb. Before we were formed in our mother's womb, all right? Deacon is Gibson, had your mic open. While we were yet sinners. <laughs> While we were yet sinners, sir. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Minister Francis. Thank you, Deaconess Gibson. While we were yet sinners, and I want to say to us tonight that we cannot wait until somebody is perfect, until somebody is good, until somebody is, is up to our standard that we are going to forgive them and we are going to love them. We have to forgive them in their current state. We have to love them in their current state. And remember, we love people. What we don't love is when people want to live in sin. What we don't love is when people want to participate and to dwell in sin. We don't like the sin, but we love the people and our aim and our mission our vision as the old harbor evangelistic center is to always be available to pull people out of sin we want to pull people out of sinful living pull people out of sinful behavior pull people out of sinful act we cannot do it if we don't love them Oh, glory to God, glory to God. The only way that we can help somebody to overcome, to push through, to know that they have support, even when they have fallen, is for us to demonstrate to them that we love them. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So why is it that we are pretending as if we are holy, and we are more righteous than those who are still struggling with the darkness of sin. Jesus said that he are the... Come on, somebody, open your mic and talk with me. He are the what of the world? The light of the world. We are the light of the world. We are the salt of the earth. How is it that a man can be in darkness searching for a light? And you turn off your light. You put it under a bushel. Because you say, I don't want them to see my light. No, we cannot do that. But we have to get into the darkness and start shining the light in the lives of people and show them that though you are in darkness, there is a light. Who is the light? Somebody tell me tonight. Jesus, Jesus is the light. Jesus is the light. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. He's offering to us the best relationship that we can have. It is built on love. It is built on respect. 
It is built on forgiveness. It is built on the fact that we acknowledge that we were once sinners and Christ forgave us. Ephesians really outlined the significance of the relationship so husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies he who loves his own wife loves himself oh glory to god wives you are to love your husbands and you are to reverence them and to take care of your children what a profound statement tonight for us to understand that as wives are given a godly responsibility we must understand tonight that it is important for us to know that God is counting on wives to play that godly role in their families yes wives must play that godly role in their home wife must play those godly duties that keeps their homes intact and when you look into the word of god you understand clearly that god is encouraging us to love and to admire as the um, evangelist came on. Brother Nikoi, are you able to speak? Brother Mitchell? Brother Nicholas? Either of these gentlemen are able to read Proverbs 31, 10 to 30. Okay, Pastor. Good night, everybody. Proverbs you, 31, sir. 10 to 13. Yes. All right, just a moment. Because it is important for us to understand that the role of the wife is significant in the marriage. Uh, let me see here. Sister Ladin, I want you to find for me 2 Corinthians 3 and verse 3 for me. Good evening, Pastor. Good evening, everyone. Um, oh, Brother Nikoi. Yes, Brother Nikola. Brother Nikoi. Brother Nikoi. Yes, sir. All right. Still find Proverbs 31 for me. And I want you to read from verses 14 to 20. I so should Brother, find that. Brother Harris will be doing Proverbs 31, 10 to 13. You will be doing 14 to 20 for me. And I will okay. ask Mother mm -hmm. Francis to read 15 to 31. But he's typing, so I guess I'll have to. Mother Nicholas, Brother Harris, are you able to see on your screen? Yes, sir. Or oh, you can read from your screen? Yes, I can. Sure. All right. Go ahead. It reads thus. Who can find a virtuous woman? Yes. For her price is far above rubies. Oh, yes. The heart of her husband doeth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and will and and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly, willingly with her hands. Thank you so much, sir. Hold it right there. 10, don't move your brother Francis. 10 to 13. The, 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 the wise man Solomon here in Proverbs is expressing respect, love, and demonstrating how a godly woman her price is above so first thing you cannot put a price on her second thing her husband heart is safe with her number three 
he will do him good. So whatever she is doing, she will seek to do good. And then she will now work with her hands to ensure that he's covered, he's protected, he looks good, he smells good. And when he goes out there, you know, my wife always said to me, ensure what you're putting on is appropriate because nobody's going to say, Pastor Allen, they are going to say, Sister Allen, I love her husband. And I can't believe she had that she put her husband in her. You understand? So it is important for us to understand that the role is coming out here. All right. I know I asked Sister Ladin to read. I think I'll ask Brother Nikai to continue and then I'll pick up with Sister Ladin down a little further. Yes, go ahead, Brother Nikai, from 14 to 20. Okay. She is like the merchant ships. She brings her food from afar. She rises also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considereth a field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hands, she planted a vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength and strengtheneth her arms. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth out not. Her candle goeth out not. Out, her candle goeth out not by night. She laid her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold the distaff. She stretcheth out her hand to the poor. Yea, she reaches forth her hands the needy oh my god my god here we are talking about you know the role what we are looking at the role of a godly woman how does a godly woman operate go back up a little brother francis and let us break down 14 to 20 because we want to understand that there's a responsibility she's like a merchant ship it is an example or a similarity that bring her to her food from afar. She has to go out and get it. Things are not readily available. After she goes out and gets it, the Bible says she rolls up while it is yet night. So everybody's looking outside and say, boy, at night you should be in your bed sleeping. But because of the need, her husband might have to go out early and she provides she consider it a feel and buying it. Can somebody explain to me what they understand from that? She consider it a feel and buying it. What does that mean? She's a very considerate wife. Considerate. Thank you. Anybody else would like to share? Come on, man. Talk with Pastor, man. I don't want to start calling on people you know. I think it is saying that she is a planner and she put her hands to the wheel and caused things to happen. So she, right. she dream of things and she worked towards getting it done. So she's a planner. She get things done. Anybody else, she consider it a feel and buy it. it. Good night, everyone. Sir, night, she do whatever she has to do to ensure that her family have food to eat, sir. Okay, all right, thank you. Um, Anybody else would like to share? Yeah, I so say she may be an investor. She looks at the future. She, she sees the potential. So she sees a field, a potential farm where she can, can buy it and go there by investing, buy it, plant it up so that she can reap it. Uh, whether it's a physical farm or somewhere else or something else that she can 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 invest and work and earn from thank you so much brother francis the word investor the word visionary the word saving comes in here because if she buys a field in a couple of years that field is going to increase in value so she's also looking at savings she's looking at growth expansion right so i remember a couple of weeks ago we we're looking at your money is my money 
or my money is your money. But this lady here in Solomon is expressing that it is her family. And she take her money and say, look, boss, I'm going to buy this for my family. Yes. So she's looking at the growth, the financial well-being, financial stability. Thank you, Brother Francis, an investor. Anybody else can give me another look at this lady as she considers a field and buy it with the fruit of her hands. She planted a vineyard. What do you get from that? It also, means that, it also means that she wasn't lazy. And oh, yes. Yes, so she's a hard worker. All right? The Bible said that she girded up her loins with strength and strength in her arms. That means is a lady who exercise. You understand? Is a lady who is physically fit. Like Mother G is a lady who says, boy, look, I'm going to get my arms ready because I need to get to work. She perceive it that her merchandise is good. Oh, my God. Give me another word for that. Give me, give me, somebody give me another word for that. That the lady perceived that her merchandise is good. Anybody can give me one word for that? She believes. Believes in herself. She believes in herself. Thank you. So self-confidence is a word. Anybody else would like to give me another word? Come on, man. Talk with pastor tonight, man. Don't, don't get distracted at home with the television and, and everything else. Said, Talk with pastor, said, man. As you said, upward, sir, she's a visionary. So that means she visions things. She sees it from afar. She looks in the future and sees that her hard work will pay off. All right. Thank you. Sister Kayla, give me a word that perceives that her merchandise is good. Give me one word you could use to describe that. Pass them another one here. <laughs> you don't know that word. <laughs> All right. Can I give you a clue? Starts with V. She knows her V. Virtue, Pastor. Virtue. Yes, that's one. Good, good but one. Value. Who says that? Value, Sister Ladin. Yes, Sister Ladin. Value. She knows her value. She knows what she's worth. And therefore, she's not going to just give away what she has to any and anybody or for any and anything. She perceives that her merchandise is of high quality and her candle going not out by night. You know. When you read the word of God and you understand, like for instance, what a candle is, the best place to describe it is in the house of God. And when that the, 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 the prophet, somebody, I'm giving you a question. The prophet who was called by God, what was his name? He filled Samuel. Two roles. Samuel. Samuel was called why did god call samuel because what happened the lights in the temple went out the light Eli, in the temple went out i want to say eli eli's eye was going dim eli i was dark so whether it was night or day he could not really determine the two but he could not keep up with going around and lighting those lamps and keeping the temple of god properly lit I want to say to us tonight that it is important for us to know that the, the, the godly woman keeps the presence of God in her home. That is a candle. It, she keeps the light of God. The light of God brings happiness. It brings joy. It brings peace. Yes, it brings contentment. And therefore, the man of God here is saying that her candle Go it not out by night, but the light keeps shining. You know, as a young man growing up, I can say that 
I've never seen my father go out and carry home cursing all. You, you, you are, you guys are city kids. You don't know what I'm talking about. I've never seen my father go out and buy cursing oil. I've never seen my father take in the home sweet home lampshade, take it in a bath of water with soap and a towel and wash that lampshade. I've never seen my father take in the scissors and trim the wick and ensure but I, that's, that's what my I've mother did my father so for the persons who don't know what i'm talking naked. about it's those old cursing lamps that we would have on our on the table in the middle of the house i never grew up on electricity i got electricity when i was good age yes so my mother would have to go to this to the cursing aisle vendor buy the cursing aisle carry it home wash the lampshade because she don't want to give the children to wash it because they will break it so she will wash the lampshade she will dry it with a piece of cloth then she use newspaper and shine that lampshade then she use her scissors and trim off the burnt areas so when you light that lamp at six o'clock in the evening when the angel is passing people stop tell children those things you have to light the lamp early so when the angel is passing over, they will see light in your house. Sister Francis, you didn't experience that growing up as a child? Yes, Pastor. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. So you see, I'm not talking, I'm not talking nonsense or gibberish. I'm telling you real life facts. Sister Lewis, and, and you did Pastor that as a you, child? Pastor, they used to tell us that when the house is in darkness, God the angel don't visit us. Yes, if the if the lamp is not light early, the, the, you are going to have a a miserable night because the angel of the Lord already passed over the house six o'clock. Sister Lewis, what what what? I was I was I was the same person you sound like you hold. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might be young in body, Sister Lewis, but I grew up in an old age in an old time, and I love it because it allows me now to appreciate the gift of God. Yes? When, yes, Brother Nicholas. You know, my mother actually have one right now. I'm looking at it. My mother actually have one right on top of the fridge top still. Exactly. Thank you so much, son. You see, it's still in operation. It still exists. You cannot beat that old cursing eye lamp. And I will tell you tonight, persons who are preparing, who normally spend time preparing for hurricane season, Go up to one of those shiny shops. They sell them. Go up to one of the shops and buy one of those lamps and, and, and bring it home. You have some now with a metal shade at the back that directs the light where you want it. But I'm telling you, no matter how much storm I blow out of the wall, when your roof that blow out, that lamp is not going to go out the way the shade is designed and it protects the wick and it protects the fire. But the beauty about it is that it allows the, the light. I've never seen my dad done it, but I've seen my mom dedicating herself to maintaining the light in the home. She laid her hands to the spindle when she made things and her hands hold the star. She stretched out her hand to the poor. Come on, the man. This is where we are lacking in our believers. This is where we are lacking. And I'm putting it out there tonight, Brother Nikai, Sister Prim, who else helped me with announcement, Sister White, Sister Ivy, the Old Arbor Evangelistic Center Extend the Hand Project must come alive for 2022. We do it the last, the first Sunday in December. We try to deliver those things. So we're going to find a facility but we need to start talking about it. Have a barrel over church. We want tin food, food stuff, that, that, that. So I'll ask the DMIA and the WMB to help me put this together so we can collect in the things in time. So we don't wait until December. We say, oh, we don't have enough, so we can't go. I'm saying it tonight in Bible study, the extended hand project must come out for 2022. COVID shut us down. We were not able to do it. We were not able to go out. But now that we are back up, the godly woman thinks about the poor, 
thinks about the needy and extends her hands towards them. Pastor. Yes, Sister Lewis. Francis. Oh, Sister Francis, yes. Um, can we go back to verse 18 a little? Yes, she perceived that her merchandise is good. Yes. Um, you you were talking about her value. value. Yes. Um, is it that she was valuing herself there or she was valuing her husband? Because well, we can look at it at the point that she values her husband so much that she will do everything to ensure that he's comfortable and ensure that he stays home and that go on the road to find somebody else or, you know, in that sense too. So I am well, asking... Because 100%. you know, you know Solomon's story. <laughs> one hundred percent, Minister Francis. One hundred percent. The value here of the merchandise, the merchandise here is everything that she possessed. Number one, herself, which is outward and inward. Her body, outward. Her character, her 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 relationship with God. Then you talk about her husband. She values her husband is her merchandise. It is important to her, her children, her home, her environment, her community, her investment, every single thing. So a lady who has a car, it is her merchandise. It is her thing. She values it and she sees it as being good. So it... The word merchandise here comprises of everything that surrounds her. Herself, her personality, her character, her Christian walk, her godly relationship. So she don't want nobody to call up her name. She don't want nobody to talk about her in any and any way. She don't go to any and any way. She don't associate herself with every and anything because she values she perceived that what she have is good. So 100% dear Sister Francis, it is her, it is her husband, it is her children, it is her home, it is where she lives in her community, it is her workplace. She values the things that God has blessed her with. And because she placed that value on it, she's not going to sell it for any and anything. Sister Lewis, you wanted to say something? Yes, Pastor. I was just saying that the word help me sums it up totally. So help me doesn't mean that you are a helper, but it means that you are working together. So instead of waiting for the husband to make all the decisions, because she's an help me, she's able to make some of the decisions herself. Thank you, Sister Lewis. I remember last week we said that the head can be the husband. The head should be the husband, yes. But sometimes, or most times, you will realize that the neck turns the head. And the neck supports the head. So if the wife is playing the role of the neck, she will have to direct the husband, turn the husband, show the husband some of the essential things that needs to go right and needs to go wrong. Yes? I mean, a simple thing. A pipe outside is not working. The husband don't necessarily see it. Maybe he don't even know. Why he wouldn't know? Because him not go outside, go water the flowers. Him not go outside, go use it to do something. But the wife does. So the wife now have to turn him head to the direction of the pipe and say, look, darling, the pipe is broken. Look, the, 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 the washing machine is not working. Look. See the clothesline tearing down. You need to get something to put up the clothesline. The husband didn't see, but the wife is what? Steering his eyes and his ears into the direction where the issue is. Yes? But in doing it, we must do it with respect. Do it with love. Do it with care. Your husband can't just out all day working come in tired exhausted just lie down and as him shut him eye you bust it up 
Oh, you in your sleep. Get up. You're not know, seeing the line one fix. No. You're, you, you, what you're developing there is what? Conflict. We tell the man, wake up. He said to him, say, boy, I saw you were sleeping. The line needs some fixing. Would you be able to assist? Yes? My wife always said to me, say, Alan, when I needed to get something done is how I say it to you and I see and I learn. My wife told me that. I did not know that I was giving her a different reaction just by how she said it. But she said it to me, she, I realized when I say it to you, your reaction will be different. Yes? And I'm saying to somebody tonight, if you keep using brute force and aggression and anger and frustration to your wife, to your husband, to your children, you ain't gonna get no result. Kemwell is two years old, or he's less than two. He's not two as yet. His birthday is September. But is a young man who, if you come to him with aggression, he's going to tell you, leave me alone. He's not going to respond to you. But if you come to him nice and talk to him sweet, oh my God, you get anything done. And I'm saying, wow. What a way to learn how to deal with an individual just by being kind, courteous, loving, with the correct tone, with the correct sense of understanding, man, it carries you a far away. I want to hit Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 3, 3, and then we jump back to Brother Francis, if we can. It's on 9 o'clock. I think we will leave Brother Francis to next week. But Sister Ladin, give me 2 Corinthians 3, 3. 2 Corinthians 3, verses 3, and it reads us. For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God, not in tables or stones, but in fleshly tables of the heart. Oh my God. For as much as ye are manifestly declared Epistles of Christ, wives must understand that it is not written with ink, but with the spirit of the living God inside of us. I'm saying to us tonight that what God is directing us to do is no longer somebody reading it on tables of stone to us, but the spirit of God. And let me tell you something tonight, believers. There is no greater person to correct you, to instruct you, and to guide you into the correct thing than the Spirit of God inside of us. I normally say this. No matter how much I preach, no matter how much Minister Francis Evangelist Harris preach, Evangelist Powis preach, if you are not convinced in your spirit that what you are doing, you need to stop and turn around and give God a chance. You're not going to do it. But when the Spirit of God, oh, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. So I go into my cupboard or go into my closet when I see a piece of clothes there that looks nice and fashionable and I put it on. But when I put it on, my my chest all of the what you call it now the the, the, the thorns <laughs> on my chest is showing and i'm just all buffed up and exposed in it and i'm comfortable i'm i'm, I'm so what you call it now so comfortable in myself that oh yes this is what i'm wearing to church i'm looking all muscular and so you're confident that you look good, not you? Yes. Right? But where in that have I given the Holy Spirit a chance to say, look, son, this is not how you go into the before the people of God. This is not even the way you go out the road to go buy a piece of KFC because you are bought with a price. Yes? You are of royal priesthood. You are a holy nation yes 
So I'm saying this tonight that wives need to speak with their husbands to say, look, can you now assist this way? Can you do this? Can you do that? Can you look at what I'm wearing and tell me if it is appropriate? Yes? And, and have the godly heart and the godly responsibility to look in the mirror and say, you know, boy, you know, we have some young brothers at church. They really can't wear this to a church. You know, it is too revealing. It is too exposing. Yes? And let me flip the coin on that. Let me flip the coin on that. You cannot expect somebody who is not a Christian or who does not have a relationship with God to dress how you just come to church. In. So therefore, I am saying it in this Bible study. I've said it over the rest of them. I'm saying it over and over. I have not employed no church police at the Old Arbor Evangelistic Center when it comes on to unsafe. Listen to this example, Sister Kayla Brown. I go to the Spanish Town Hospital. There was a motor vehicle accident on the toll. And when I reach accident and emergency with the patient from the motor vehicle accident, the nurse said to me, oh, sorry, she cannot come inside a &E with that skirt. It is too sharp. Or she cannot come inside a &E in that pants. It's too tight. That's what the nurse does in accident and emergency, Sister Kayla Brown? No. What is it that the nurse does? Just take them same way and fix them. Say that again. They take them either way and help them. Exactly. So I don't want, thank you, Sister Brown. So I don't want nobody to stand in older by evangelistic center and see a woman come to church door have on her short skirt or her b-ride or whatever or tear up jeans and it's going to say to her oh um i don't think you can come inside in that no 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 that is a person you need to take give a nice comfortable seat give them a bottle of water and say my sister I hope that all my brother, I hope that you have a wonderful time in church today because that is a soul that is running for what? For help. Yes? But amen, after, amen. after five years, that person baptized, coming to church, living for Jesus, and after five years, that person wake up on Sunday morning and say, okay, um, I think the short skirt and this tight blouse is what I'm going to wear today. Are you expecting that kind of responsibility from that individual? Somebody talk with me. Sister Brown? No, Pastor, that's no, pastor. rebelliousness. No, we are not. We are not expecting that kind of relationship or that kind of display from an individual who has been engaged, heard the word of God and the Holy Spirit should be working on their heart. So Corinthians 3 verse 3 speaks to that. That God the Holy Ghost is now working on our hearts. And the hearts that were hearts of stone. Should softly becoming hearts of flesh. We will grow in the grace and in the knowledge of God. As we pick up next week on the godly woman by looking as we continue on Proverbs chapter 31. And we'll pick up from verse 20 next week. And you can read it on your own time. Write down what you understand from it. Share it before we start next week. And please, brethren, and no person's coming in from work and so, but let me know. Let me know because I'm here from seven waiting to get on got on after all the difficulty and then i'm missing you way up until eight please let us communicate with me so i can see how best i can do what i can do until you are ready all right let us try and make some effort in being here on time and if we can't 
please communicate with pastor so I can know where the family is and where we can get started at what time. All right? The Lord richly bless you tonight. By way of announcement, I want to remind the brothers in this group, Brother Nickar, Brother Francis, Brother Evangelist Harris, that remember this Sunday is Men's Sunday, and there must be a group of men to minister for God. Whether it is one of you, two of you, three of you, four of you. Brother Nicholas is here. But the men must be ready to minister on Sunday. Remember, it is our Sunday. It is Men's Sunday. Brother Hines is on the choir. Brother Nicka is on the choir. Brother Harris is on the choir. Brother Francis is on the choir. Deacon Earl is on the choir. We just need to communicate, put the things in place so that on Sunday morning, we can have a beautiful DMIA Sunday in the Lord. All right? Amen, brothers. Amen. 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 So, look Amen. forward. Please bear the other announcements in mind as we get into convention as we get into the other activities and we're looking forward to us just having a grand time in the Lord. The Lord which bless you as we bring the curtains down on tonight's Bible study. I will ask Evangelist Harris just to pray as we ask if there are any prayer requests in the group tonight. Please share your prayer request and the next voice you will hear is that of Minister Harris bringing the curtains down on tonight's Bible study. Please excuse me, I have an emergency to deal with. Please share your prayer request and then Minister Evangelist Harris will close us off tonight. Please excuse me. Please pray for my family, the Bidacis, the Johnsons, and the Jeffreys, the community I'm from and the one that I'm now living in. Please and thanks. Prayer request for me and my family. Prayer request for myself and my family. Please pray for my mom, who is not feeling well. She's in the hospital. Brother Harris? Yes, thanks. Mm -hmm. Are there any other prior requests? Are that it? Eternal Father, Lord Jesus, we come in your presence tonight. Lord, nothing good have we done. All righteousness is filthy before you. Lord Father, as we are gathered here tonight, we repent of our sins. We repent of habits, faults, anything that is not of you right here, right now. Father, Lord Jesus, we are asking you to cover us as a ministry. Cover us as a people. We are bought at a price, the blood of Jesus Christ. Eternal Father, Lord God, search our hearts and see if there be any wicked ways within us. Lord Jesus, perform a spiritual x-ray now. Lord, cleanse us, wash us, purge us. Lord, tonight we put these prayer requests and any other requests in your mighty hands, dear Father. Father, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, our King, the I am that I am earth's rightful ruler. Hallelujah. The El Shaddai God, the bombing Gilead, the I am that I am. 
earth's rightful ruler. You are the bridge over troubled waters tonight. Father, Lord God, we put Brother Francis, mother, in your hands, dear God. For as the songwriter say, in the rock I will hide. In the shadow I will abide. When the storms of life are raging over us, Lord God, we put her in your mighty, powerful hands. Lord, we pray that your perfect will be done, and we pray that healing be given unto her. We pray that you restore what the enemy is tampering with. We pray, God, that you touch her physical body, her spiritual body, and Lord God, her mind, her soul, oh Father. Father, Lord, we declare that mighty Jesus Christ, no weapon formed against her and the family, the entire Francis family shall prosper. We pray you close every door of access to the enemy. Close every window. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. Hands up, God's people and God's children. We pray, oh Father, that you will reach here and answer prayer, oh God. Lord, we ask that holy angels be assigned at the hospital and minister to her, oh God. For you are the healing Jesus. You are the balm in Gilead. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we pray for Sister Johnson's request. Lord, we pray for her entire household, her entire family, the community that she's from, and now she's the community that she's living in. We put the blood of Jesus Christ, uh, Lord, in every area, every aspect. We pray for the Bedeses, the Johnsons, the Jeffreys, the entire family, and other names that we may not know. But thou knowest all things, all knowing, all wise God, the omnipotent, omnipresent King. Lord Jesus, your Alpha and Omega, we put these requests in your hands. Lord, we pray for Lord Jesus, our pastor, cover him, God, Strengthen him and continue to guide him. Lord Jesus, Lord, continue. Give him even more visions and more zeal and desire, mighty God, to do that which you've called him to do. We pray, Lord God, that us as members will stand fully beside him. And Lord God, we will carry out the work of the living God. We come against the spirit of complacency. We come against the last day's modern spirit that is influencing the church. We pray ministries that are dead will come alive. We pray for every sick in the church that they'll be healed. We pray for our households, oh God. We pray for our neighbors, our families, our friends, even our relatives. We pray even for our human enemies, oh God. Lord David said, creating us a clean heart, oh God, and renew a right spirit within us. Lord Jesus, we bow down at the altar, Lord God, and we're asking asking you, dear God, for mercy. Have mercy upon us, Jesus. Lord God, we pray, oh, Abba Father, that you'll meet the needs and the requests and approve these requests according to your will. Lord Jesus, we pray that nothing will be left behind. No room for attack for the enemy. Lord, we bind every portal that the enemy seeks to come through. Every loop all in the name of Jesus over this island nation. Lord, we pray that family will strive again. We pray that our soul will be blessed again. We pray that every dead marriage will come alive again. We pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that family will live good and live better. We pray, oh God, that our burning desire will come again. Our yearning mighty God will come again, oh God. We pray that you'll set the church on fire, hallelujah, that we will work, oh God. We pray, God, for this Bible study that it will be a continuous success. We pray, oh God, that the entire move of the ministry will be handled carefully, oh God, and under the direction of your Holy Spirit. We come against every and anything that is not of you. We pray, oh God, that you'll expose everything that is not of you. Lord, we bind every satanic work. We bind every conference of the enemy. We bind every plot and every trap and every attack for no weapon form against so shall prosper, and every tongue that rises up be put to condemnation. Cover Pastor Thompson, Lord God, and his wife, oh Father. Lord, cover the ministers, cover our evangelists, Lord God, cover the deacons, the deaconesses, the prior mothers, the technical team, oh God, the musicians, the ushers, the visitors, the newborn babes, the discouraged, the oppressed, the depressed, and the suppressed. Lord God, every member, every saint, 
every community person we put this country in your hands we put the entire globe in your mighty hands lord god watch over us and help us to do our best each day and lord god creating us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us oh god turn that away from us oh father so lord grant us your peace and grant these requests we pray that testimonies will come forth hallelujah we pray oh god that testimonies will come forth and that we will have faith and trust you and not get caught up with the cares and worries of this life and that we'll get our rest and continue to pray and trust you even more oh god bless our jobs our businesses our homes oh god our families and our neighbors lord god if there's anything just absolutely anything hallelujah we fail to ask great god grant it unto us almighty father let your perfect will be done in no other name in jesus mighty name Amen and amen. Soon coming, King. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Um, before we leave, just a lady. Just a lady. Yes, yes sir, Francis. You want to remind us about the president at Fort Moore, and I think Brother Nicholas was asking about dress code. So oh, um, it is for Sunday night. Um, and Sister Tanisha requests that we wear red. If it is that we can wear red, something red, she really appreciate it. So the carpooling, as um they said on Sunday, so um you will hear further about this before Sunday. Okay. All right. So um, taking the liberty, Pastor, to close up for you. So we close by saying that the words of our mouth. And the meditation of our hearts and our hearts acceptably in our sight. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Strength. Oh, and our Redeemer. Amen. Have a safe night, everybody. Please remember to hang up properly. Have a good night. Whether you're on your bed or going to your bed, please be safe. Turn on the light so you don't hurt yourself. God bless you. Sleep safe. God bless you. All. God bless you.